So today we're going to show you how to get the replay mod in Minecraft 1.18.2. The replay mod is one of the coolest Minecraft mods in my opinion because it allows you to basically turn Minecraft into, how do I put this, a movie, right? You can do things like sweeping camera shots and moving around players and showing multiple players on screen at one time, moving through worlds. It's basically recording everything in a live game environment and then allows you to go back in and choose your camera shots after the fact. It is, like I said, one of the coolest mods out there. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download it, how to install it, and how to export after everything is installed. First things first, though, we have a Mesmar sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we have our own server. Play it at breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below. That's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your Minecraft server up and running. Thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting the replay mod. To do this, you want to go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to get the replay mod in text format, right? So it goes through everything you need to know in text, which is great if you want to go through it at kind of your own pace. But here we are in this video. So let's go ahead and click the yellow download replay mod button. That takes us to replay mods official download page where all we want to do is come down here and find the Minecraft 1.18.2 version. Here it is. So just scroll over and click the big download text here, download button to start their download or replay mod right away. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser, but it is 100% safe to do that. So no worries. Go ahead and keep it in the bottom of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. There's two more things we need to download. First is the Fabric Mod Loader. This is the mod loader that's going to allow you to actually use Fabric in Minecraft, right? So nevertheless, once you're here, this is the third link in the description down below, by the way, you'll see our in-depth tutorial for getting the Fabric Loader. We're going to go through the basics in this video, but if you don't have any issues, just come here and go through this dedicated tutorial. It goes a little more in-depth than we are here. Nevertheless, let's go and click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to the official Fabric download page, where you want to click on this little Download Universal Jar text. We're doing that because once you get Fabric installed using the Universal Jar, you can install any other Minecraft mods without any issues. So let's go ahead and download the Universal Jar here, and when you do that, it's going to download again automatically in the bottom of Google Chrome or in the center of your screen on Firefox. You may need to keep or save it, and it's 100% safe to do that. Now, there's one more thing we need to download, and this is the Fabric API. It's basically an API mod that works with Fabric to make mods work properly in game. It's something that most people should have when they're installing Fabric mods, and you guessed it, it's in the description down below. That will take you to our dedicated tutorial for it, but click on the yellow Download Fabric API button to go to CurseForge, where we want to look at the right hand side and then scroll down until we find the Minecraft 1.18 section. Then we want to find the 1.18.2 version here and click the orange download button to the right of that for the download to begin. After a few seconds, it will start downloading and you'll be able to keep or save the file. You guessed it, depending on your browser. Depends on what you'll need to do. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser though, and we're going to get all the files we downloaded to our desktop. To do this, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen most likely, or in the center bottom of your screen on Windows 11. Hit that Windows icon, type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here you'll have the Fabric API, the Fabric installer, and the replay mod. Drag all these to your desktop. Now if all these icons don't look the same as mine, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we can open up Fabric. To do that, right click on the Fabric Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric Installer here, unless you didn't have Java, and if that's the case, let's go ahead and fix that, which by the way, will also fix these icons. So we need to get Java 17. Java 17 is required for all Minecraft mods for Minecraft 1.18, and obviously the replay mod is a mod, so we need Java 17. We have an in-depth video on this, as well as a guide, a simple three-step guide on our website here, all linked in the description. Now, for most of you, this will allow you to open up Fabric, which is awesome. In that case, you can continue with the tutorial, but for some of you, you still won't be able to open up Fabric, or your icons will still be broken. So after you get Java 17, you got to get that first, you can run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, right? Make them work together with Java, all those jar files. Nevertheless, we can finally minimize our browser and your icons should look like this. We can right click on the fabric installer, click on open with, click Java and click OK. That's going to open up the fabric installer here. We want to make sure 1.18.2 is selected and click install. So it's going to open up, say fabric loader has been successfully installed, all of this stuff, click OK, and it will close out of that. Fabric's installed. The only reason it might not say it's successfully installed there is if you haven't played Minecraft 1.18.2 before. If that's the case, go play it. Just open it to the main menu with no mods, just latest release, no mods or anything, and then you'll be good to go. 
Nevertheless, we can now close out of the Fabric Installer and delete the Fabric Installer from our desktop. Now all we should have is the Fabric API and the Replay mod. How do we get these installed? Well, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. That's the first step, opening up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, once you're in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go ahead and hit the Installations button up here at the top, right? So once you're in the Minecraft Launcher, click Installations at the top. Now, for me, I actually do have this Fabric Loader here already, right? Fabric Loader 1.18.2. If you do have this, awesome. Skip forward a hair in the tutorial. Don't click play, don't start playing yet, but just skip forward a little bit in the tutorial. But if you don't have Fabric Loader here, more specifically 1.18.2, you want to click on Modded up here. Make sure you, that that's checked. As you can see, unchecked, it disappears. Boom. It's there, you've got it, skip forward a little bit. But if you still don't have Fabric Loader 118.2 here, click on New Installation. Now you can name this whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that is our amazing 1.18 Minecraft Survival and Skyblock server. If you want the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, come play on Breakdown Craft. Truly incredible, hundreds of players online every single day. Now let's just go and click on the version drop-down box here. And we wanna select release Fabric Loader 1.18.2. Mine's towards the top, you may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right here. Select that, and then I'm gonna change our resolution so we can see once we get in game, and then click create. Nevertheless though, once you've got your fabric loader profile either set up here because it's automatic or set up here because you created it, you wanna hover over it, doesn't matter which one, either one's gonna take you to the exact same folder. So hover over it and click the folder icon that appears, right? So on the installations tab again, hover over this version here and click on the folder icon. When you do that, it's gonna open up this. This is your Minecraft folder here. Now in here, you may have a mods folder, I do. But if you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and just create one. So right click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your newly created or your existing mods folder, and then just drag and drop the Fabric API and replay mod into your mods folder. Once we've done that, we can close out of it, and now we can click play on our Fabric installation, right? So click play, and then click play again. Just hover over it, click play, click play again. Minecraft's now gonna open up with the replay mod installed. I'll show you it in game and show you quickly recording a little quick, um, very poorly put together, most likely, video, but you can't export yet. And to do that, we're gonna need a program called FF Impact. I'm gonna show you how to get that later in the video, so be sure to stick around for that. Nevertheless, I'll meet you on the main menu to show you this is installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and luckily we can see that the replay mod is installed by this little button right here, Replay Viewer. And this is where all of your replays will be. But in order for them to be here, we kinda need to generate some replays. So to do that, let's jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, right there it is. Let's jump right on into it. And once we're in game here, we can uh, just kinda run around. We're in the end right now if we go to spawn real fast and just kind of basically record some stuff. Now, if we hit T, we can see recording up in the top right. And then if we pause, we can also see recording up in the top right. And what it's doing right now is literally recording everything we're doing, right? Just walking around this world, doing all that stuff. It's recording every bit of it. It's honestly a really, really cool thing and a way for us to kind of see what's going on here and be able to record a cinematic overview because everything's recording. And then we get to go in later and select things like I don't know, our camera position and how the camera's moving and time frames and all that stuff. Stuff that's honestly a little too complicated for me, but <laughs> nevertheless, we're gonna try to showcase some of it here. Now, at this point, we've kind of gotten a recording. Now you can see you can pause and stop recordings here, but if you disconnect, it will also just go ahead and start saving and then click none, right? Now, if we go back into this replay viewer, here it is, right? This is the replay viewer and we can click load and you'll see what I mean. Now, one thing worth mentioning is, uh, I'm inside my face, there we go. <laughs> one thing worth mentioning is that uh, occasionally, you will have weird stuff happen where you will lock to a player or something. Usually you can restart and do that. I'm also was uh, invisible <laughs> when I joined in there, but you can see you can come around and set all this stuff up and occasionally you won't have crashes happen, right? Now this is perfectly normal and just part of replay mod. They're working it over time, but 1.18.2 just came out. So expect crashes like that. However, if you want to export something in game, you're gonna have some issues if you don't have FF Impact, which a lot of you might just be watching this video just to get that. So how do we do that? Well, let's do that first and then we'll open Minecraft back up because I have noticed once FF Impact is installed, Replay mod's a little bit more stable. So to do this, we wanna go ahead and open up in the description down below the download for FFmpeg, also known as the replay mod documentation, right? Both of them are in the description. It's actually the same link, it takes you here. So once you're here, you wanna scroll down and click on this installing FFmpeg button. Then you wanna to go to Windows and under Windows, you wanna click on this right here. When you click on that, it's gonna immediately download it in the bottom left. It's actually a larger file, so it might take a minute or two to download. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick jump cut to get to that being downloaded. So there we go, as you can see, FFmpeg is now finished downloading and we can minimize our browser. This will also be found in that downloads folder we found earlier. So just go ahead and grab that again. And then we wanna drag and drop FFmpeg to our desktop. 
With FFmpeg on the desktop, we again want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And again, we actually want to go ahead and click on installations. Then we want to select again that fabric loader, either the one we created or the one that was automatically installed. So if we go into installations here, you just want to hover over this and click on that folder, right? Same thing as before, fabric loader, hover over it, click on that folder. Now this time though, we're going to take this FFmpeg file we downloaded and drag and drop it into the .minecraft folder. Now once it's in here, I'm going to go ahead and let this... Uh, Hold on real quick, just refresh this to where it moves it. But nevertheless, right here it is, right? You want to find this ffmpeg.zip that you downloaded here, right? And then you want to right click on it and click extract all. Click extract and boom. It's that easy, it's that simple to get FFmpeg. Now you will have a folder in here called FFmpeg 5.0 or whatever version, the version number doesn't matter. But FFmpeg, if you open that up, you will have all of this stuff right here and you're good to go. It is installed. It's that simple to get FFmpeg. Now we wanna go ahead and click play again on Fabric and launch up the replay mod. This time we'll jump in game, create a little video and uh, be done here. So here we are in game, we can load up this replay again and. By the way, that crash happened and it probably won't happen again. I don't know what it is, but sometimes replay mod on first load, when you kind of install things and get things running, can crash and then it'll never happen. But as you can see up here at the top, we can set different things to happen, basically. We can set times. I don't understand all this. And that's why in the description down below, we have the replay docs. Not only can you get FFmpeg here, but uh, it actually talks about how to use this mod and that's not what this guy is this is how to install it but I do want to show you that you can now export some stuff so to do this let's go ahead and add a position keyframe here and then we'll come up here and just move forward a bit and add a position keyframe here and then we'll kind of turn some and come down towards here and add a position keyframe there. And then we'll do one more down this way, right? And then we'll basically export this. I'm not gonna even preview it in game. My goal is to just to quickly export it and then we'll be good. How do you do that? Well, to do that, you actually need to click this save button, render camera path, but it says there at least need to be two keyframes in the time position. That would make sense. So uh, we wanna go ahead and up here at the top, press in a time keyframe and then come up here and press in a time keyframe. Now we can save this and here are all the different settings. Honestly, I would recommend leaving these a lot of it the same. Right? It shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and change the name though to tutorial.mp4, right like so, save. And then I'm just gonna, like I said, leave everything the same and then just click render. And what you're doing when you're rendering is exporting a video and putting it out. Before you couldn't do this. If you don't have FFmpeg, this right here won't work. You can make the video, but you can't export it. And that's what FFmpeg adds. But there's no reason for me to uh, sit here and bore you. So do a quick jump cut and we will show you after this is done, the video. So the video is now exported. We can click open video folder to, well, open the video folder. If you wanna know where this is, well, this is in that .minecraft folder that we found earlier and installed FFmpeg too. It's where we installed our mods and now there's this replay videos. Open that up and here's the tutorial video we just exported, looking good. So that's how you can download and install the replay mod in Minecraft 1.18.2 and you should come check out this server, play.breakdowncraft.com. It's a pretty freaking awesome one if I do say so myself. This is Medieval Survival, there's also Aquatic Survival and Skyblock. It all depends on what you're looking to do and uh, what you want to do in Minecraft. So nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. This is our slow motion video showcasing the world. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.